Hi, Kipsters. So today I'm gonna read King for a Day. Um, it's by Rukshana, Rukshana Khan, and it's illustrated by Christian Comer. So if you saw me and Miss Peter's other video, this story takes place in Pakistan. All right. Basant is the most exciting day of the year. With feasts and music and parties, people celebrate the arrival of spring, and many people will make their way to the rooftops of Lahore to test their skills in kite flying battles. I'm up early. My brother and sister arrive, still rubbing sleep from their eyes. My brother asks, Malik, is that all you made? My sister says, how can you be king of Basant with only one kite? It's called Falcon. Inshallah, it will be fast enough. I send my brother many blocks downwind so he can catch the kites I will set free. There's the bully next door. Ha, it's time to make him pay for hitting me and throwing stones at my sister. I'll get back at him with Falcon. Falcon is his kite. The, balcony, the bully shouts at us, calling my sister a bad name. My sister yells right back, but when she turns around, I can see she is hurt inside. So there's Malik and his sister, and there's the bully. The breeze lifts the bully's huge kite. His kite is so big, I nickname it Goliath. It must have cost a fortune. Falcon is small, built for speed. I let out enough of my special spring for my sister to carry Falcon to the edge of the roof. Don't step on the tails, I cry. Don't rip them. There's the bully with his huge kite. And then up here is Malik and his sister ready to let go of Falcon. On the count of three, my sister jumps. I tug on the string. Falcon leaps into the sky. I'm ready to attack. I work my string, dipping Falcon so it circles Goliath. Because it is so big, Goliath is slow. My kite string rubs the bully's kite string. Snip! I have sliced it. Goliath flies free, and the bully's string drops from the sky like a fishing line and nothing on the hook, with nothing on the hook. So there's his falcon kite and there's the big one and he just snipped it with the strings. So during this holiday, everybody goes out onto the roofs and flies their kites and tries to knock everybody other, every other kite down. The bully picks up his other kite, a smaller, faster kite. He gets it climbing on the rising currents of air until it's almost as high as Falcon. I take a deep breath, bracing myself. The bully's kite circles, trying to trap Falcon. I move away, watching closely for the next attack. The bully pulls his kite left. Quickly, I pull down as hard as I can, sending Falcon into a steep dive. Let up, Malik, my sister yells. You're going to crash. Just before Falcon hits the rooftop, I pull it up around and around several times, snagging the bully's string so he cannot get it free. I reel in the bully's kite so my sister can grab it. The bully's done. He has no more kites. He storms downstairs. I move on to other kites. It's easy for Falcon to pluck them from the sky as if it really is a bird of prey. Those are all the different kites that are being flown that day. Big kites, little kites, fancy and plain, even kites made of old newspapers. Sometimes I catch them in groups, making wide circles around clusters of kites. Falcon slashes through their strings. For a while, the kites fly where the wind carries them. 
When they land, they'll belong to whoever finds them. But at least they will have tasted freedom. Insha'Allah, I really am king of Basant today. There he is. Malik has all the kites. Throughout the day, my brother brings some of the kites I have freed up to the roof. Among them is Goliath. My sister stacks them in a pile. Sometimes loose kites float, float close enough for me to catch. Falk entangles their strings and I draw them in. My, sis, my sister catches some too. She uses a long bamboo pole topped with thorns. If I am king, she is queen of Basant. At the end of the day, we have a big pile of kites. I choose the two I want. Then my brother and sister get their picks. After they have chosen, they start back downstairs. My sister says, Malik, you coming? Not yet. The sun is setting on a magnificent day. I want to stay up here to watch, to feel the cool breeze. I want to make my day last a little longer. Seems like he's really enjoying himself up there. Suddenly, I hear yelling from below. The bully pushes a young girl to the ground. Then he grabs her kite and runs into his house. The girl gets to her feet, sobbing. She heads down the alley, trailing the kite string behind her. Something makes me pick up Goliath and drop it over the side of the roof. It floats, slicing the air side to side to land close beside her. That was very kind of him. He is giving the kite that he caught to the girl because she got bullied by that guy. The crying stops. The girl picks up Goliath. I duck, I duck just as she looks up to see where it came from. When I look again, She's dancing along. Then she rounds the corner. She's gone. So he made that little girl very happy by giving her that kite. There she is. One by one, the stars come out till they shine down like a million jeweled kites. My day is done. I am no longer king of Basant. It's time to go downstairs and join my brother and sister. We have many stories to tell of Falcon's triumphs. And tomorrow, I will start designing a new kite, an even better kite for next Basant, when, inshallah, I will be king again. The end. So um, this back page tells a little bit about Basant, which is um, the holiday. So I'll read that, but the story's over. Okay. Um, about Basant, there is something glorious about going up on a roof and releasing kites in the air. Even more thrilling is doing battle with them. In early spring, when the chill of winter has fled from the ancient city of Lahore, Pakistan, and light breezes carry the scent of flowers, it is time for Basant, the annual kite festival. Basant started many years ago with the Hindu celebration that marked the end of cool weather and the beginning of warm weather. With time, Basant became a celebration that crossed religious and cultural boundaries. So, my dad is Hindu, and he would celebrated Basant. And in this story, Malik, he's Muslim, and he also celebrates Basant. So, it, it's lots of different people from all over South Asia celebrate it. People from inside and outside Pakistan flock to Lahore to watch or participate in the kite battles. Many kite enthusiasts spent weeks preparing for the festival, practicing their flying skills by waging mock battles. The festival begins on the night before Basant. Huge spotlights are perched on rooftops so people can see, and white, kite, and white kites are flown because white shows up best in the night sky. The next day, people bring out their colorful kites. Shouts and cheers, drumming and bugle blasts create a festive mood. Everywhere, there are feasts and parties. Women dress in bright colors, often wearing yellow or green to represent spring. Toward the end of the day, people bring out even larger kites. And at night, there are fireworks to symbolize all the kite battles. Traditionally, 
kite strings were coated with powdered glass. Ooh, so they would be sharp enough to cut through other kites. Later, metal strings were, were also used. Unfortunately, the sharp strings sometimes injured people and cut electrical wires. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound very good. In recent years, kite flying and the celebration of Passant in Lahore were banned for safety reasons and for security concerns due to the Orthodox religious opposition. But many people are trying to revive the festival while ensuring better safety. It will certainly lift the spirits of the people of Lahore to see the sky once again filled with brilliant color and drama. I hope you guys liked it. Bye.